Freighting, Simon Michelle from Fig Securities is joining us. Simon, look, geopolitical tensions, as we know, really dominating headlines with Syria and North Korea, Donald Trump, as we were just mentioning there. As a result, this flow of funds into safe havens just really continues. It does indeed, Leanne. Good afternoon. And uh, on top of that safe haven flow, obviously, the comments by Donald Trump that he likes lower interest rates. So uh, that certainly matches uh, Janet Yellen's uh, view as well. Uh, the 10-year US rate down to 2.24%. It's down almost 40 basis points since a month ago and has uh, hit new low territory for the year. Um, Aussie yields also our 10-year rate down a half a percent. Uh, since last month and uh, hitting new lows as well. So we're certainly seeing that uh, geopolitical risk, uh, really f uh, seeing investors mm. sit on the sidelines, seek a bit of comfort, demand for bonds very high. Mm -hmm. Now, we've been watching the Aussie dollar very closely today, particularly with those employment numbers, and we did see a, a reaction, your strength in the Aussie. With the narrowing spread, though, say, between US and, and Aussie yields, do you think we are likely to, to see a stronger Aussie dollar from here? Look, I think uh, definitely, you know, that was very positive uh, data and, uh, you know, if it builds a bit of a trend, I think the RBA would be very happy with that. These yields are definitely moving in the opposite direction than, uh, you know, both the RBA and the US would like to see. Uh, it certainly lowers the uh, possibility that you're likely to see uh, three further interest rate increases by the US this year. So I think there's some positive uh, data there for the RBA, but there's also some negative in relation to the impact that these, uh, this safe haven flow and these, uh, you know, the, these uns uncertain political risks are going to flow into the expectation for higher rates over the rest of the year. And uh, just a final thought, Aussie issuance, anything exciting happening there today? Yeah, pretty exciting. I mean, over the last couple of years, we've seen the development of the Aussie corporate bond market. We've seen a number of uh, Aussie issuers into the market, generally unrated issuers. Uh, Fig itself has done about 36 issues of 1.5 billion. We've had the largest unrated issuer by uh, issue by an Australian issuer that was Seek, which did 175 million Aussie. So great sign for the development of the Aussie bond market.